For a lot of folks, a common New Year's resolution is to drink less booze. But holding the alcohol doesn't mean you have to hold the fun or the flavor. Joining us with a great holiday recipe to ring in a dry January is Brendan Mark, owner of Shaken and Stirred Mixology. It's good to have you. Thank you so much for having us. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year to you and welcome to South Carolina. Thank you kindly. I'm loving it. Uh, we threw away all the shovels and ice scrapers and uh, I'm growing outside in December. Originally from Pennsylvania, but the pandemic kind of shook you down to the south. 100%, uh, but it's been lovely. You know, we shifted gears a little bit like, you know, so many other Americans and people worldwide and like, we're very happy to be here now. Definitely. What is the inspiration behind a dry January? As, as a mixologist, why dry? Sure. And, and, and I love this. It's kind of a, a fresh start for everybody, right? That's kind of the New Year resolution time, uh, New Year. Uh, let's kind of reset, maybe do a little cleanse uh, and just kind of get back to a baseline. And, and, I, and I think we can really elevate non-alcoholic drinks uh, to the same level as other cocktails. I, I find that fun. And you've got a special recipe for us. So tell us what goes into this. Absolutely. So we're going to be using a really fun product today. Uh, it's made in Bluffton, South Carolina by this Burnt Church distillery. It's a non-alcoholic spirit. So they're distilling some fresh natural flavors uh, and they have this blend where it really does taste like you're drinking uh, an, an alcoholic spirit and it's delicious and there's no booze. First things first, we're going to ice down our glass so we can get all nice and chilled. We're going to use two ounces of our blueberry ginger mint uh, amethyst. It tastes just like a spirit. I've gone ahead and added a little bit extra flavor with this by uh, soaking it on some cornbread. We're making it a true South cocktail. I have half an ounce of honey right here. We need to turn honey into a syrup so it doesn't chill up. So we got our fresh lemon juice, our honey syrup, uh, our amethyst that's soaked on cornbread. We're gonna add some ice to our tin. Give it a nice kiss. <laughs> with a smile, <laughs> I love it. Right off the bat, whenever we design this, I still want that blueberry to really shine through. So we're gonna give it a little extra blueberry accent right there on the top. I call this the Southern Charm. The Southern uh, Definitely Charm. a beautiful deep south cocktail. Cornbread, blueberries, summertime in the glass. Oh, fantastic. Uh, well, I can't wait to try the recipe myself and to find out more about Amethyst. Now, anybody wants to find out more about your services, where should they go? Absolutely, we're just at Shaken and Stirred, Mixology.com or Shaken and Stirred Mixology SC on Instagram. And if you want to try a bottle of this, uh, you can head on right over to the uh, Burnt Church Distillery website and order directly from them. Fantastic. I want to thank you so much and cheers to a new year. Thank you for having me. Cheers, everybody. We're back after this.